There are 600 children on a field. 30% of them were boys. After five teams of boys joined the field, the percentage of children who were boys increased to 40%. How many boys were there in the five teams altogether? So we're going to solve this problem visually using the modeling approach. Uh, let's keep one thing in mind. Originally we had 600 children and 30% of the children were boys and that means 70% of the children were girls and a bunch of boys joined. The total number of girls did not change. After the boys joined the team, the, n the percentage of boys became 40% and that ma means that there were 60% girls after the boys joined. So let's take a look at the scenario um, uh, from a visual perspective. Originally we had 600 children, 30% of them were boys and 70% of them were girls. So I used a strip that contains 10 chunks. Each represents 10% of the kids and I have three chunks or 30% representing the boys or seven chunks or 70% representing representing the girls. Now I need to find out how many boys were there originally and how many girls were there originally. So if the whole strip represents 600 children, if you take 600 divided by 10 you're gonna get uh, each box will be let's go over it once again. If you take 600 divided by 10 that'll give you the value of each chunk which happens to be 60. Okay, I'm not going to draw all these. Now, that tells me if this is also 60, this means I have 180 boys. And if I multiply 60 by 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I'll have 420 girls. So this picture helps me understand originally there were 180 boys and 420 girls, and altogether there were 600 children. Now what happens, a bunch of boys come in and th I'm going to erase all this writing. Okay, when a bunch of boys come in, the total number of girls doesn't change. Keep that in mind. Now we do know after a bunch of boys join, the new scenario, I'm calling it the new scenario, becomes this, 40% of the kids are now boys and 60% of the kids are now girls. So let's really keep this straight. After a bunch of boys come in, what happens to the whole group? Keep, keep in mind the total number of girls didn't change, but because we have a larger number of boys, the percentage of boys goes up. So now I have 40% boys and 60% girls. Now I'm going to erase this writing. Now note from the previous slide I had four 20 girls. I still have 420 girls in this new scenario. That tells me this is 420. Well, if this whole strip is 420, how do we find how many girls belong to each little piece? Let's do it this way. Let's erase all the writing and let's move on and see what we have here. Okay. Now, to find the number of girls in each little chunk, I divide 420, representing all the girls, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have each little chunk. Let me erase that. Each little chunk represents 70 girls now. Well, each chunk here should also represent 70 boys because these were cut into equal pieces. Alright, so how many boys do I have now? I have 7070 times 4, which will be 280 boys, and of course the number of girls shouldn't change, and it hasn't changed. 70 times 6 is still 420. Let's erase all that. So, altogether now I have 280 boys. And I don't need the total current number of girls because I know it's still 420 and, and I don't need it to answer my question. So originally I had 180 boys 
and now I have 280 boys. Well, how many boys joined? Let's erase and move forward. So, originally I had 180 boys. Now I have 280 boys. Well, 100 boys joined the team. So, there were 100 boys in those five teams. And that's our answer, 100 boys.